Hey, what's happening in the world? It's August 9th. I hope all of you are well and out there getting it while you still can, chasing your dreams, living with excellence. This is the Wizard of Doom giving you a worldwide report, doing my best to remain consistent and linear in my thought approach to this independent media broadcasting. Been doing this for several years. It was my major in college, which I didn't end up finalizing because I became radicalized by the entire system. I was given information which changed my frame of thought so profoundly that it set me on a course to make this channel in 2020. And to that, all of you who've been with me this far, words cannot express my gratitude, something I relish in that's taken me this far. With great responsibility comes great freedom, dubious times we live in where you can have all of the data and information you want at your fingertips. Between my best friends and chat GPT-5, I have PhD level of intelligence at my fingertips with concise, accurate readings on virtually everything. Recently, I just inputted Dr. James Hansen's latest paper, Seeing the Forest Through the Trees, he did with another colleague not sponsored independent research by a highly acclaimed climatologist, environmentalist, etc., who testified to Congress. We all know the story and have seen the video. In fact, it's somewhere on this channel, deep in the archives. Spat out exactly what I wanted to read, which was a concise summary of a 10 page or so lecture, you know, scientific language. Basically, the summary is we're heading for a 4.5 degrees Celsius world given the rate of doubling of CO2 plus or minus a degree of warming. So let's just shoot for five because we aren't doing a damn thing at all to reverse course. In fact, EPA director just came out and said that pollution doesn't harm people and we should retract regulation standards. So that all bides in to the whole drill baby drill, even though we haven't made any more oil refineries and that cost subsidizing that we don't have. So not to veer off track, it's getting smarter, faster AI, and it's kind of mind boggling how quickly it's happening. That's not a surprise. It's coming for all of your jobs, Gen Zers and younger folk watching. Just find your own way of life. That brings me into my next subject, which is we're cooked. <laughs> Careers are cooked. Jobs are cooked. Relationships are cooked. If you live with an intimate partner, there is a high degree of likelihood that you will become lost of oomph, charisma to the relationship over time. Every relationship has a time frame, whether someone dies or not. Meanwhile, I'm over here telling the fucking truth that we are in full-blown ecological breakdown and rapid runaway warming. It is so much heat built into the system and why people aren't absolutely pissed off about this, that three people own as much wealth as the bottom four billion of the population. Meanwhile, our global temperatures keep rocketing up in the last couple of years. This was also explained in James Hansen's paper, if I should not have forgotten, one of the main key points was that it was a result of aerosol reduction from shipping containers and lanes from China and so forth around the world, ocean temperatures dramatically rose, which gave evidence to a reduction of aerosols, meaning rapid runaway warming, on top of cloud cover decreasing. So the paleontological data indicates that where we're at now, over 500 parts per million of CO2, puts us in another fucking world that we aren't adapted to, nor is the species we, sh we depend on to survive in it. Newsflash, Nate Hagens, Peter Carter, Dr. Suzuki, who already knows that the climate battle is lost, is that we're headed for a hellish nightmare Jurassic Park fucking hellscape world next decade. When we hit two degrees, it's not compatible with ours, the way we're living now. And so James Hansen is saying we're headed for 4.5. Forget the cl global climate models. All the, for the policymakers, they're not even factoring in the wars or other countries' emissions who aren't reporting theirs. Like we are so beyond the curve of so beyond the eight ball, whatever link phrase you want to use, we're fucking cooked to the maximum. And and 
And then you throw AI just dismembering society in the next couple of years as if we aren't already at the end of time. Consumerism has put us into this box where we're all competing each other. It's a sick, mentally ill worldwide society that thinks it's okay to occupy a whole land stretch. I know Gaza, over 60,000 people dead. We're in the time of acceleration all over. It's hard to keep track of. I just out here for peace and quiet, right? That's all you want, peace and quiet. If you want to see where I live, just Google the Catskills, hit images or upstate New York forest and just scroll through that. It's like a postcard. I literally, I live in, it's dreamy. If it weren't for the mosquitoes, which I got a handle on mostly now, finally, you think I would know this coming from Texas, a humid subtropical climate. That's something also to consider where you're doom prepping and moving to is the climate that would be prevalent there. Not that you can expect global civilization to hold on and maintain food on the grocery store shelves, but something that you'd be comfortable in riding out the collapse because it's going to be boring. Not really. It's fine. I'm... So many things to do. I might set up some target practice, get a new compound bow or something. There's a fly. I have a 20 minute limit on this. So back on track, what's happening in the world? I'm the doom wizard. Thank you for hanging out. Hit like, and subscribe. All that nonsense. Jay Bravo, you're a complete clueless fucking moron who's in denial with children and doesn't realize that we are in rapid runaway climate change that's going to disrupt all monetary systems on the planet. We're going to go bankrupt from the insurance industry. Money's going to be worthless. Gold, silver, it's all going to be good for a week. And then it's going to be bullets, ammo, water, alcohol. You dumb fuck. All of you. Real time with Bill Mayer, Lindsey Graham, Elizabeth Warren, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the whole fucking best in Trump's cabinet of old boomers. Putin and him are meeting next Friday. Like they're really going to make a, is Trump going to get on his knee pads and start blowing Putin for peace because he won't, Zelensky's on his other ear screaming that he wants to keep his land. And Trump might concede and say, well, yeah, but we'll, you won't get the land back, but we're going to keep 50% tax tariffs on India that's supplying you with gas. We are so behind the eight ball curve of any threat that's facing us. And yet people persevere with careers and going to school for I'm talking to a young, cute chick today. A lot of young people in my life, in my orbit lately, I can't explain it. It's the summer. Maybe people are going back to school. I don't know, but I've been interacting with a lot and there's something missing. They're kind of there. They're, the fluid intelligence is there. They're quick, but they're dumb. Does that make sense? They're not fully present, but they're sharp. Hard to describe. The COVID did a number on everything. And the banks are about to implode. The unemployment numbers are made up. They're screwed. Young people are cooked. Dude, AI is coming for you, your job, our whole way of life. I'm I'm not lying, dude. Chat GPT five is a breakthrough and grok for that matter. It it's ninety percent close to like a real sounding like a real human being. I wouldn't, if I was drunk or something, I, you know, I think I'd talk to like an agent or something. It is so close with the K in voice mode and cadence and its ability to be like a PhD research assist assistant. We have, it's as, we've never had this much information at our fingertips ever. So, you know, go figure hundreds of millions of people use it daily, mostly for search engine type stuff. And me too. I'm asking it like, how often do I, you know, need to get my septic system changed and just everything. It's like, why do even people need, why do we bother with each other anymore? And we don't. Consumerism has just like turned us into the end of time where we're all competing against each other. And then add on top of mental illness, which is everywhere in the world as a result of childhood trauma, expectations, cultural norms, making it so that your acceptance to your parent and thus your parents reflection of themselves, interpretation of how their worth is based on their approval of them back and forth, snake eating its own tail and making and then these children grow up and to be just the most self-centered dude just look at dating profiles women are like i don't know men too are the epitome of this i escaped this city and i could not be more grateful that i'm living my best life i am i am saying that wholeheartedly on camera i am not complaining with all the misery in the world across the gaza strip sudan floods in the philippines heat waves tokyo's baking right now 110 degrees homeless people everywhere relationships, people cheating on each other, authoritarian rule. It is the fucking chaos world. And I am grateful that I made the decisions that I did. I'm not a millionaire. I don't have tens of thousands in stocks or really much commodities. I don't have any commodities, no gold, silver, none of that shit. I have ammo and water 
and solar, that's worth something. But last but not least, because I'm a nerd and enjoy arts, culture, and media, at some point in history, in the Greek Roman era, they would view neurodivergent thinkers like myself as artists, dancers, creative people, as uh, consumed by madness and insane. It was like jesters, clowns that they were entertained by the normies. And that's still prevalent on YouTube. I watch channels sometimes and I just see men and women acting like complete buffoons. Whether it's entertaining to my taste doesn't matter. They're very animated and acting in a way that would appear like they're the court jester. And how long can they keep up this act? I don't like going on mind, pointless mind escapades either. Like Jordan Peterson is still putting out content with him talking with Arthur Brooks, who I respect recently. And they're like trying to name out four things that you look for in a person and like who they're number one is who their idol or who they look up to. And they're like just giving these like over the top psychoanalysis things. Just keep things simple. Just relax. Don't think so much. Uh, Robert Greene talks about this mental illness that we're in. That's it's tearing society apart. It's making us all against each other. A, a loneliness, inwardness and a need for validation and approval. Narcissists in particular succumb to this way of thinking. They're all the same. They literally say the same fucking things and they think they're original. They think they're unique and special. But little do they know, I've traveled the fucking planet and I've met thousands of people that act just like them. That say the literal same words as them. Accusatory, abject statements that are neither true nor false. Confusing language. Passive aggressiveness. Dominating, authoritative. Lecturing at you. They're literally all the same and they think that they're special and that they're the only ones who act like that. Their truth is like their word is the God the, of, of the gods of Zeus. And here I am just telling the fucking truth over here with data. I just give you plot points. It was the third hottest July on record. Migratory birds are already flying in Poland. Record breaking temperatures in Japan, Greece, India. Lake Powell is basically gone. So Arizona's clean water, critical water infrastructure is dissipating rapidly. There's no water in the stream up here. I'd take you on a little tour. And that's something else I mean to record more outdoor footage. But the world is cooking and I'm struggling with motivation. So this is the best you get. It's just Doom Wizard rants. Long ones. This is a good camera. Hopefully the audio comes out better this time. So because I'm a media enthusiast, I would highly recommend for the 10th time that if you haven't already, get yourself NVIDIA GeForce Now streaming service or just go buy a PS4 console for 100 bucks used. I promise it's worth it. And play Red Dead Redemption 2, one of the highest selling games from Rockstar of all time. As it portrays a group of people looking to exit a system which is being forced on them at this point in time as the story occurs. It is the Industrial Revolution at the turn of the century. Here we are entering a new one rapidly that it could be very relatable. Of course, their tactics are a little not civil. They are gunslingers and outlaws robbing trains and such, but that's all a means to an end. They don't, there's a score. You can either hurt people or not hurt people. You should try to urge on the, you know, you, that's your choice. You can be a complete douchebag and live with that or and have a bad ending or be a good person and have a bad but not so bad ending. Not to spoil the story, but rewarding, engaging, masterpiece, fictional, western tale that takes 30 or 40 hours more if you want to get full completion and you will walk away smiling and remembering that people like us always existed who were radicalized and against the system that was implemented in place by the powers that may be to turn us into literal peons, working slaves. We are... So fucking slaved, guys, in the past 50 years, since 1971, since Reaganomics trickled down. And we don't talk about it. We don't talk about any of these hyper objects, rapid climate change, even though it's happening all around us because it's so slow. It's like a tidal wave. Right. Even in the emergency, it'll come. It'll be so fucked. We are getting it's dude. We're fucked. OK. We don't have 30 years. We don't have 20 we have a max of five to 10 of stability left, maximum. I would say more like eight. Once we hit two degrees Celsius, world stability goes out. Stability goes out the window, okay? It's a, it's a Jurassic hellscape fucking nightmare world that we're heading into. Like I said, sometimes I miss being closer to the city to get convenience or the beach. Maybe you can have a best of both, but 
in the forest. I'm dead ass in the middle of a state forest. It is magical and boundless and rewards of solitude and peace and quiet. That's all you want, right? Peace and quiet. Thank you all for being here attached for so long, witnessing this with me. I'm aware some of you are physically, mentally handicapped, rightfully so. I admit my full-blown ADHD-ness on camera. I don't want to seem cringe about that or make it an excuse for behaving weird. I'm just a product of my time too, as we all are. I think about all the beings suffering on this earth and how lucky I am to even be recording and talking about this. You don't, there shouldn't be any expectations. You don't have to do shit, but just be a nice person. Try not to hurt other people. Although I do participate in hunting for survival because I need to have calories to actually survive. Keep your tribe close. This is the coolest summer of our lives. And we're here to witness the runaway climate change breakdown of our entire fucking civilization. And no one's talking about this all on YouTube. Like Doobie and Gooby back with, you know, the usual suspects, Guy McPherson. That's it. Where the fuck is everyone else? Okay, the data is in. We are fucking in runaway. And then throw on a Taiwan war and failed negotiations, and failed climate conferences, dying insects, bees disappearing at an alarming rate, Greece on fire, California on fire, forest fires in, in Canada. You like that? Mm, mm, that? That wildfire smoke feel good in the lungs. Thanks for hanging out.